Good morning, everyone. This is Imtiaz Begum, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Government First Grade College, Chikbalapur. Today, I am going to take the first session of Employee Welfare and Social Security. The learning objective of this chapter is the chapter aims to provide the concepts of labor welfare, its scope and objectives. Session outcome. The student will be able to understand the concept of labor welfare and its scope and objectives. Introduction of labor welfare. In the entire world, industrialization, globalization has adversely affected the working class people by creating numerous socioeconomic problems. The modern factory system is the most important stage in the growth of man's economic activity. Large-scale production necessitated the replacement of skilled craftsmen by unskilled workers. Trade increased internally and externally, and world class or world market began to develop and a class of industrial capitalists emerged. On account of that, the personal relations between the employer and employee took place. In the event of unrested situation among the employee and employer emerged the study of labor welfare. Now we'll see what is the meaning of labor welfare. Labor welfare are termed as employee service, which aims at providing facilities and services like financial and psychological by the employer to the employee. It includes job security, education, medical assistance, insurance, housing, recreation, and so on. In other words, employee welfare includes various services, benefits, and facilities offered to employees by the employer. According to ES, it has been defined as labor welfare means a voluntary efforts on the part of the employer to improve the existing industrial system and the condition of employment in their own factories. Now we'll see what is the meaning of social welfare or social security. Social security forms an important part of labor welfare, providing the security which is of great importance to the workers and his family well-being. According to ILO, it is being defined as, it can be taken to mean the protection which society provides for its members through a series of public measures against the economic and social distress that otherwise would be caused by the stoppage or substantial reduction of earning resulting from sickness, maternity, employment, injury, unemployment, invalidity, old age and death the provision of medical care and the provision of subsidies for families with children. The next one we have is the scope of labor welfare. In the world of changing values where ideologies are rapidly undergoing transformation, rigid statements about the field of labor welfare need to be revised Labor welfare work is increasing with the growing knowledge and experience of techniques. An able welfare officer would therefore include in the welfare program the activities that would be conductive to the well-being of the worker and his family. The following are some of the labor welfare schemes. First one, good working condition. The organization must provide good sanitation and cleanliness, ventilation, lighting, elimination of dust, smoke, convenience and comfort during work. Sitting arrangement must also be provided by the organization for a good working condition to the employee. Next one we have is workers health service. This includes factory health centers medical examinations of workers, factory dispensaries, and clinic for general treatment, infant welfare, women's general education, workers' recreation facility, education. 
Next one, labor welfare program. This should cover factory council, consist of representatives of labor and employer. Social welfare departments interview and vocational testing, employment, follow-up, research, bureau, workmen's attribution council, etc. Next one we have is labor economic welfare program. This should include cooperatives or fair price shop for consumer necessities, cooperative credit society, thrift schemes and good saving bank, health insurance, employment bureau, etc. Next one we have is the objectives of labor welfare. The first objective of labor welfare is to promote the economic development. This can be done by increasing production and productivity. The underlying principle is to make the worker given their loyal services in return for obligations voluntary and compulsory accepted by the employee towards the general well-being of the employees. Next one, provide proper human condition of work and living. It means a proper working condition should be provided to the employee. For example, good sanitation, lighting facility, ventilation facility, drinking water, so on. Next one, improving the efficiency. The improving the efficiency of labor means doubling the reward, one in the form of increased production and the other in the shape of higher wages due to achievement of higher productivity. Welfare activities add to their efficiency and efficiency in turn helps the worker to earn more wages. Therefore, welfare activity in an organization are twice blessed both employer and employee both of them are in a good condition next one we have is minimize the hazard the welfare activities are done to minimize the hazardous effect on the life of the workers and their family members it is the duty of the employer to see these human needs if welfare activities are viewed in this light it can be seen that they are guided by purposes of humanitarian and social justice. Next one we have is supplement wages in monetary teams. The facility are provided to supplement the income of the workers by services such as housing facility, medical assistance, schools, cooperative societies, canteen, stores, playgrounds, etc. I have prepared a few questions among them. First one is labor welfare is a comprehensive term includes various services and benefits provided by the employer. The objective of labor welfare are to provide better life and health to the worker, to make the worker happy and satisfied, to relieve workers fatigue. So all the three condition holds good. So the answer is all the above. Next one. Social security is provided by the organization, both to the employee and to the family member. Employee welfare aims at economic development. Labor welfare includes various services provided to the employee, provided over and above the wages, and which in turn results in increase in the morale of the employees. Thank you very much.